Well, hello again, everybody. This is GearWire.com series of educational videos on the Reaper Digital Audio Workstation. Right now, we're going to take a look at the transport bar, which is where it all happens. Uh, this is where your controls are for playback and for recording and for various other functions of the DAW. Let's take a look at it. The transport bar is located by default right here in between the lower part of the screen and the track view. Uh, there are the uh, typical um, there are the typical uh, transport controls here. You got stop, pause, uh, rewind all the way, record, uh, fast forward all the way, and also set up a uh, loop um, mode. Loop mode is pretty simple. You simply click to play back in loop mode and go ahead and set a loop location, hit play, and off. Whoops, rewind. And there it'll go. Always nice. The long uh, and the short of the loop mode is um, it's best used when you're actually constructing loops in uh, Reaper or you want to actually focus on a specific part of the uh, project. Um, there are many, many keyboard shortcuts in Reaper, and we're going to talk about those um, because every function in the toolbar and really practically every function in the entire uh, workstation is uh, mapped to a specific keyboard shortcut which allows you to mouselessly speedily get through lots of tasks and that's a good thing. Um, we can control just about every function on the toolbar. We've got the um, play uh, and uh, record uh, um, controls here. We also have um, the uh, rate window uh, or rate uh, playback rate uh, value here which means that it's playing back at its, its at its um, 1.0 means that there is no difference in its playback uh, speed. Um, that uh, playback rate change, that uh, fader, is uh, available here. You can actually make the uh, system playback faster or slower based on the position of that. Of course, when you get low down like that, you get artifacts while well, it figures out what it's going to do. I like to just enter one, and there's our playback. We can also set BPM. This is uh, in the event that there are any uh, loops in the uh, project. They need to know what their BPM is, and the project's current BPM is 120. And then there's a selection uh, range here. But what we can uh, do from the keyboard without having to mouse is we could rewind to the start of the project by hitting the W key. Here's the W. Whoops. Let's get out of the rate window. Click somewhere else and now that'll free it up. And that's W. As you can see, it goes back to the beginning. Then, of course, there's play, which is just spacebar. But if you hit spacebar to stop, it might not be what you expect. When you hit spacebar to stop, you do by default rewind to the beginning of the project. So, in order to stop at the spot where you are, control space and that will keep the cursor at the spot where you stopped and then when you hit uh, space again you begin to play back from where you were. You have the ability to go to the end of the project by hitting the end key on the keyboard. There went the cursor over to the right there. You can record by uh, holding down control and hitting R. And here's one of my favorite functions. It's the little function. If I just want to go forward a little I can hit control uh, left. Le that is to say left arrow. And a little bit I hop forward. And same thing on the way back. Control uh, right, control left. And then to be able to play with loop selection skipping, we'll do a loop selection, set the cursor, we do alt space, and listen to what happens. It ignored the loop uh, as you can see, it ignored the uh, right-hand uh, uh, loop uh, selection boundary. So alt space is how you get past um, having to um, complete out the loop during play. Well, that is the transport bar and the associated um, keyboard controls video. So keep your eyes on GearWire.com in the future for more educational tutorials on the Reaper Digital Audio Workstation. Thanks a lot.